Hi, my name is Tearhead from the band Vengeance Falls. I'm the band leader, rhythm guitarist, and lead singer. Um, how COVID-19 pandemic has affected the band's plans? Well, to be quite honest, um, Barbados does not have a large rock scene, metal scene. Um, we have just one in March, the Rock Artist of the Year Awards, and then the entire island <laughs> was shut down. Um, Barbados makes most of its money from the tourism sector. So the hotels are closed, obviously bars, restaurants are closed, and there's no tourist in there's no time soon it looks as though it's going to be open and we are actually now in june so you can actually say before all of this the maximum probably rock to hard rock to metal bands might have been maybe around 16 or so and it was not very conducive to making a living so the band had to trek out from Barbados to head over to Trinidad which was probably the the largest rock scene in the Caribbean and then from there trekked out um, headed over to Wales and pretty much it's always going to be overseas if you're going to handle anything to do from alternative to rock. Um, all plans, because we were actually supposed to go on tour, so all plans have been cancelled completely. And I have no idea what's actually going to happen within the next year. We've actually taken the time to start recording another album and I figured that's what we're going to do until um, the actual island is open back up. Um, Barbados is pretty small so we're looking at 280,000 people but still um, the entire island was put on lockdown and we were going um, 6 a.m. or should I say from the night before it was 6 p.m. Um, until 6 a.m. curfew then we got a 5 a.m. start and a start at the sorry and a start at the 8 p.m. at night so it opened up just a little bit but it's still we still have a curfew and it's June but it's still now a 10 p.m. start and a 5 a.m. finish so um, we literally supermarkets had to do a name system for you to buy food and you had to can only leave on the day that you were supposed to have your name called anything to do with banking it, it was ridiculous anyways as i said it's very small island in fact we have not crossed 100 cases we had i think up to 90 96 cases 97 cases and we had only seven deaths, so I guess that's not so bad. Um, on a whole, still, we have a lot of people that are not working, and we have a lot of musicians, whether it be rock, reggae, calypso, rap, it doesn't matter. We, they, we have quite a lot of musicians in Barbados, so we have quite a lot of people that aren't working. And obviously with no clear sign of work in the future coming. Um, how has this affected the metal scene? Well, 
the metal scene or rock scene is very small already so you're very lucky obviously if you can get into a club or um, some live music bars but now with everything shut there's been absolutely no live music since the beginning of March so it has definitely affected the scene here and it doesn't matter whether it's absolutely metal rock or whatever no music anywhere no live music anywhere is being played whatsoever so it's quite a large problem here um, what I can actually say to the metal community out there is I'm sure everybody had to work very very hard we had to in Barbados because there was absolutely really no rock or metal scene here so to do well you had to rehearse your butt off and then decide you're gonna leave and go out so before you can leave or get any acknowledgement you had to be good so we were one of the lucky few to be able to do so but all I can tell you is keep the dream up because I'm sure that everybody loves what they do I do and I'm not gonna stop I just believe that music literally is something from inside so I can just tell you that for sure it's one of those things that you have to make sure that you guys keep at keep trying to live the dream even if you can't get out right now this would be the time to get your practices going work on your material your songs your own originals this would be the time because when we reopen and you've got that all clear you'll be able to go up with some fresh stuff and really blow everybody's mind with it um on a personal note for vengeance falls um as i said we've started our second album but we just released a single and it's called 2020 <laughs> to do with the coronavirus and some of the stuff also to do with um some of the rights that they had in the united states it's been well received um tell everybody look out for it the the band itself has actually pledged 20 percent of the proceeds from that to um the the adopt a family in barbados for the covid 19 people who aren't eating have nowhere to sleep we're trying to give 20 percent of our proceeds from that song to that um as i said it's called 2020 so you can look on it sorry look for it on itunes amazon apple full music google play that sort of stuff um it is on spotify um so you can definitely do that it's on deezer as well but definitely if you want you can go to one of these sites and definitely do that support you can also peep in on our official website www.vengeancefalls.com and have a look see of what the band does and what we've been doing so thanks again guys and definitely try and stay safe through this time take care <laughs>